from the ground Nobody never gave me nothing, I never had my hand out Once you start saying no, friends stop coming round I know what it's like to be alone Now I got the right team, we taking off <laughs> he already talking. <laughs> if we talking about pure hoopers, cousin is definitely one of them. When it comes to the knowledge of the game and being able to put in that work to gain the skill, bar none for sure. Playing at a pro level and having high basketball IQ is something that my cousin gained from the programs that he learned from. And the goal, you replace him, all right? Take the same thing, take. And whoever step out to the wheel, you replace that high coach. So, nah, not right now. We just, that's what we're in the We just in zone right Stop now. Stop sounding right? We're pulling up from 40. Uh-oh. We're having a rock on the stream. Hey. Hey. Hitting that last jumper to end the game, that comes from the streets. Can't teach that. Game dude. Where one hundred at? He picked up a lot of um, the man things that I couldn't teach him, mm -hmm. for one. And then, um, you know, because he had a lot of mentors, a lot of male mentors, his coaches, and etc. So he, he picked up a lot of that. And um. watching other people, that was positive because um, he, he wasn't bothered with you if you was on the bull. So he got time to mm -hmm. just keep moving, keep moving. So just watching the older male. We definitely had way more support as we became more serious about playing basketball. Not really having true mental mentors growing up kind of made us start following the blueprints of some of the people we start working with when it came to who. This AD right here, true handle. I'm talking about instrumental in everything that we got going on with these visuals. I'm telling you. Knowing that we was finna soak up all the game, he gave it to us. Trained by Trev, he definitely stamped in the city of Sacramento. Bobby Jackson, we still aspire to be him. He opened up his home to us. He allowed us to play on his AU team. He gave us real game and life jewels, life lessons. And on top of that, he brought Chris Paul to the game. Come on now. Lauren Low Leaf. Yeah, real boy boy. LA's finest. Four year Sac State alumni. And nobody probably still ain't broke his scoring record at that university. The whole time I was younger, just basketball. basketball. No, I was born in Oakland. And okay. I've been back and forth from Oakland to LA my whole life. And I finally moved to LA for good. And didn't go back to Oakland when I was 14. I like Sacramento. I like the city. You know, it's real calm and mellow. Somewhere you can raise a family at, you know, it's not too fast, like big cities like L.A. and Oakland, I'm used to, but I mean, it's not too boring either, so it's right in between. So. Him and his partner Big C used to give us pure game every time they used to step in the gym. Whether the conversation was about basketball or any type of mental shift that we needed to grow ourselves, they always gave us the game. Coach ain't new. He came in underrated junior year, came in my sophomore year, and changed around the whole culture. He allowed Grand Hoops to become a real contender in the state of California starting off that decade. Coach Denard took the torch, and 10 years later, Grant got two section championships under that belt. We sparked that, and the younger guys took it and ran with it, the same way we did with the people I just mentioned. Who would have knew we was around so much greatness at a young age? He said, you know, he said it's incredible, man. He said, we never grab a board and draw up new stuff that we haven't worked on. He said, even at the NBA level, by the time you draw it up and tell people where to go and they try to step on the floor and do it, so one person gets to the wrong spot. So everything we built up to, we know all we need to know. It's all about executing that. All right? This is Kai Bot training right here, Memphis, Tennessee. He been playing a big brother role to us when it comes to this training. And he's not afraid to give us some game when it comes to our regiment. He trained some of the top players in the state of Georgia, and he got a lot of D1 prospects all over the nation. Man, first met him, you know, uh, came with the flame, 
seeing them over there grinding, motivating the kids, pushing the kids. So it was a, it was a great, you know, first experience. You know, it was really cool to meet him. His training regimen, you know, a little different than mine. He gave the kids, you know, the uh, kind of blueprint just all the way around. He kind of hit them on the on the uh, strength and conditioning, get them going with that. Then he hit them with a little ball handling, then get straight to skill work. So I like his style. Give him like three different levels of a uh, workout when he, when he put pushing the kids. I've been real cool, you know, vibe the good, work good together. If I ain't here, he got I got some kids coming. He take my kids over. He miss a day. I take his kids over. So it's been, it been great to work with him. You know, it's fun. Love his energy. Love his energy. Uh, I think he brings, you know, a father role to some kids, big brother to some kids. He brings just a, you know, a value of a, like leadership and toughness to kids that, you know, this generation love to sit in the house. So he kind of bring a whole different mindset when you're working out with him. Yeah, we definitely gonna, uh, you know, try to get some stuff going. We talked about some pop-up, you know, skill event days, then just do some mixed up workouts, stuff like that with our older kids. So we're trying to like put everything together and get something going. I think he kind of learned, you know, He's kind of watching and kind of see the way I attack certain kids, attack certain things, and try to pick up on it and incorporate it in his own style and own ways. So he's picking up things that I use, but not doing exactly what I do, but you're doing this in his own way. So, you know, keep the same path he's on right now and just continue, you know, push kids, develop kids. But the biggest thing is don't let nobody tell him, you know, that he can't do anything. Because I love what he does, like, as far as selling the clothes, got the brand, dope-ass brand, you know what I'm saying? So that's the biggest thing. Don't let nobody tell him he can't do what he uh, want to do. Thanks. And all these moves y'all see coming together for us, it all come from working together, teamwork, and partnerships. We'll let y'all know about that.